All right, so we are back with another Guild 2 Renaissance tutorial. So on this part, I'm actually going to take a deeper dive into the Patreon um, buildings. So in my last part of my buildings basic tutorial, I showed you how to operate the buildings. However, this time I'm actually going to take a deeper dive and show you guys exactly how the buildings work and give a, uh, a pretty detailed explanation on exactly how to um, work these buildings. So I'm going to start off with the croft and I'm going to go ahead and skip the, uh, the building so you guys don't have to sit here and just watch the building go up so I'm actually going to cut and edit the video and um, when the building is up I will um, show you guys exactly how to use this building and what buildings um, are recommended that you use it with so anyways I will be back shortly okay so this is our built croft um, what I actually would recommend um, for this building when you first start out here is um, go ahead and uh, improve the building in uh, wheat and also improve the uh, productivity of the business and also hire an additional worker if you want to and have enough money to you can actually go ahead and increase the storage amount and the storage slots as well that I've already uh, taken the liberty of already doing um, Level 1 is not really important for cattle and sheep yet because if you're a Patreon, most of the buildings you have don't actually require these resources as of now. Um, but if you actually do marry a, craftsman, a craftswoman or a craft, craftsman, you can uh, use wool for the weaving factories as well. But as of right now, go ahead and leave these materials uh, unresearched. So the croft actually requires, um, it has some dependabilities, but the croft itself is a self-supplying building because like I said it is where your raw materials will come from uh, it actually requires a field which you can grow barley or wheat on and it builds instantly so in order to grow wheat like it is on this field here currently or barley you have to uh, select a worker or yourself and tell them to grow those two wheats which we're going to grow barley on this uh, field here so and in order to put cattle on it you will require to build a corral but since we have not researched cattle yet we do not need to um, as of right now place this corral down but I will show you a uh, blueprint image of what the corral looks like so a tip for uh, faster resource gathering is to try to put that see that open gate here try to put that gate pointing towards your fields or your corrals so you're going to click on production and storeroom and select your workers and have them gather the raw materials um, this building doesn't require any building to be supportive of it this building is actually a supporter and it actually helps support majority of all the class buildings so this is the croft for the Patreon class. Okay, so this is going to be the next Patreon building, um, the windmill. The uh, windmill actually is uh, it's 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 kind of an important building, but it's kind of not at the same time. Um, this building actually produces flour uh, from grain. The pros of the building are, um, it once you build it, it's at level 3, or the max level of the building you can have. Uh, you can actually go ahead and uh, improve the building completely. You can also buy the carts for the building as well. You can buy a horse cart and an ox cart, which are the two most expensive carts. The horse cart actually uh, is the fastest cart, and the ox cart can carry more of the materials. The cons of this building are it's a little big so it's kind of hard to fit in the town uh, and due to its size and where you actually have to place it it can also at times be exposed to rogues and also 
the most of the materials it produces uh, take a while to make and this is actually somewhat in already on the flower part and the other con is is this building actually does not gather or produce any raw materials uh, the what this building actually requires is it requires a croft to produce the grain for its materials and these are the only two things that this building can actually produce so it's kinda low on its options of of uh, materials that it can produce uh, the buildings that actually require um, the windmills um, resources are the bakery and some craftsman buildings and some scholar buildings as well actually require some of these resources. Uh, the other thing is flour is actually a great resource for supply and demand. Um, there's always a demand for flour in the markets. So this is actually a really good building to actually make some money on. The income is actually somewhat low to medium, so it doesn't. It's not a great money maker, but if it's better off if you partner it with a bakery. All right, so this is the windmill, a Patreon building in the Guild Two. All right, so on to our next building, the orchard. Uh, this building uh, is a personal favorite of mine. I actually built this building probably 90% of the time, build it right after I build my tavern and I get my second title, which is a uh, yeoman. Um, let's see. The building actually produces uh, honey and fruit, which this is fruit and this is honey. The pros to the building are the building is already max leveled. So you can actually go ahead and obtain all the building improvements. It also produces very uh, two needed materials, very needed materials, excuse me, uh, for uh, for patrons and scholars. Uh, you can also buy the best carts, the ox cart and the horse cart. And it's a great starter building, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, I and like I said, I actually do build this building second, so I can supply my tavern with um, the fruit for the alcohol and the honey for mead later on when it's built to level two. The cons of the building: uh, it's a big building, just like the Croft, and it has to be put out in wide open spaces. And naturally, when it's away from towns it also means that it is exposed to rogues the other con to this is it only produces uh, two items uh, honey and fruit and uh, it has no it is very limited to what it can produce the needs to the building are it only requires a meadow and the meadows are priced at 400 gold um, and it actually requires no other materials from any other building. This building actually produces for uh, taverns and hospitals for the scholar. Um, tips. This uh, building, if you face the gate towards your fields or the meadows, it will, by a couple of seconds, reduce the time that it takes to walk from the fields to put the resources in the building. Also, this building is worth protecting. The reason why is because in time you will have so a lot of materials here due to fast gathering and you can load them up on your carts and take them to town. And um, the most awesome thing about this is the income level. The income level on this building is actually a medium income, which is great for if, if you want to just sell a surplus of your materials so you can actually buy your next building. The also the thing that contributes to the income level of this building is the demand for the products that it sells. There's always a demand every turn. Every turn I usually fill up an ox cart and just take it to the market in all three towns and sell the surplus that I have of this building. 
but I like this building. It is great, and it allows me, if you do it right, it allows me to um, purchase my next building for either myself or one of my Dynasty members. And this here, guys, is the Orchard for the Guild 2. Well, guys, that is all for this part of the Patreon Buildings video. I'm actually going to upload another video tomorrow. It is 5.30 where I am at currently and I am very very tired so I am going to upload another video with the public house and the bakery and I will go into a very 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 detailed on how to make a lot of money with these buildings and how to be a successful patreon so I thank you guys for my stuttering and my language in this video I'm so tired and I was tripping over my tongue but I'm not here to make excuses this is Adafos signing off oh, oh and uh, don't, don't forget, forget be sure to click the sub button for more let's plays tutorials and some epic crazy fun times that well I just happened to catch on camera Oh, and don't forget, uh, for every time you click that sub button, you save a kitten from drowning. Thank you.